amazing hello welcome back to my channel my name is zion Oshobuge. i am the academic mentor and today i want to talk about something that really um you know affects me or has affected me and i don't want you to be a victim of it so for me when i was growing up money was a huge huge like influence because like i grew up in a family where my father was once rich and then became poor so it was a lot for us you know and i wanted to make money and engineering was the way to go i just thought in my mind though that if i studied engineering you know and i graduated i was going to work in an oil company i was going to make so much money and i mean maybe other people that happened for them but for me that didn't happen for me right so i graduated in 2008 you know for, for my omd and i did my it one year it with nmpc i was so happy i went back for my hnd finished my hnd and i was looking for a job i looked for a job for a long time now why am i talking about this today because i want you to have a clear notion of why you're going to school very very important you know and i did I, I came out from school after my higher national diploma i was looking for a job and you know anytime you have an expectation and the expectation does not meet the reality on ground frustration will happen so if the reason why you are going to school or if the reason why you chose that course that, you are, that they have chosen now is because you want to make a lot of money um that might not be a good reason if people ask you why did you choose this course why do you want to study medicine why do you want to study law why do you want to study accounting why do you want to study business admin why do you want to study the course you want to study what will be your answer because if your answer is that um you know i want to make money uh, i i just like the course i just like the course and i want to make money is two of the most crazy answer i've ever seen don't ever answer like that as a problem solver listen if you are watching this channel now you need to take a book you need to take a pen and you need to write down five reasons why you want to study the course you want to study i'll give you a clue the first reason why you should study any course is because you want to solve a problem with that course so what problem will you solve with banking? What problem will you solve with medicine? What problem will you solve with accounting? What problem will you solve with mass comm? What problem will you solve with engineering? What is the problem that the world is facing today that you can solve using the course you want to study? So we end up choosing courses that, that we don't even have any interest in. We end up choosing courses that we don't like. We end up choosing courses that maybe our parents have said we should choose because we are trying to do what? Because we are trying to make money? Because we are trying to just go to school? No. School will be meaningless if all you are going to do in school is just to go and study a course and then think of a job. Have you not heard people say that, oh, I graduated, no job. People are graduating every day, no job. These people that say these things, sometimes it gets to me. You graduated no job. The question I want to ask is simple. What value did you get when you were in school? What problem did you decide to solve before you got into school? When you decide before you enter school on the particular problem that you want to solve when you are, when you are a graduate, every single time you have a free time in school, you will definitely be looking for ways to add value to yourself to make you better equipped and better prepared to solve that problem. I've always wanted to solve the problem of, 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 you know, education for the poor. I didn't even know I wanted to solve that problem till I was looking for a job and I did not see a job. And then I did a career test. So I did a career test and that career test showed me myself. So what I'm saying today is who you are and what you study are two different things. Until you are able to distinguish that, you are going to always perpetually see yourself as just what you studied. Listen, you must constantly begin to pay attention to who you are becoming. Who are you becoming? Not just what do you want to study. Because what you study and who you are separate, right? Zion Oshobuge is a problem solver. Zion Oshobuge is a communicator. Zion Oshobuge is a lover of children. But Zion Oshobuge studied engineering. They are two different things. So what you study and who you are are two separate things. But what did the career test do for me? Because I didn't do a career test growing up, right? What did the career test do for me? Because I studied engineering and here I was, I couldn't even connect wire. I couldn't see mosquitoes entering my head. I couldn't even connect wire. 
So this video might not be for everybody, but it'll be for you that you know that what you want to study now, mm -mm, you don't follow. You don't follow for your dream. You don't follow for what you say for your heart, what you won't do. So who are you? Who are you? Listen, it's the beauty of life is when you express yourself through your course, through your study, and then you bless the world. Who are you? If you can't answer that question, do a career test. Uh, you see, people, people used to say, I will tell you who I am today, who are you? I couldn't answer the question. I was saying I'm an engineer. Are you serious? That's what you study. Say, who are you? I'm a doctor. No, that's what you study. It's a part of who you are, but it's not entirely who you are. So do a career test. A career test will help you know your gifts. Remember, and there's a difference between your gift and your talent too. A talent is what you do best with, with little or no effort. Naturally. A gift is what you do best with little or no, no effort that has supernatural backing. So gift is supernatural, talent is natural. Then you can acquire a skill as you go along. So, so, so the three distinctions are very important. So a career test will help you know your gift. A career test will help you know your talent. A career test will help you know what skill you are supposed to acquire. And a career test will help you know your course. So a career test is like an x-ray of you. The question remains, have you done a career test? Do you know who you are? Or you just know what you want to study. That's why most of the time you see people not getting admission. is because they just want to study a course that, that is not them. So you've seen yourself that you have some talents and gifts. But then you're always confused. I, mean, I don't have passion for this thing. I'm saying I want to go and study. So when you see that you are in a dilemma, you are in a crossroad, you need to do a career test. I'll put a link to free career test that you can do if you are if you are really willing to know yourself. Because why I'm doing this video is I'm trying to help you know yourself. Because the only gift you can give to yourself as a human being is the knowledge of self. Who are you? I'm not asking about who your father is. I'm not asking about who your mother is. I'm not asking about what you studied or what you want to study. I'm not asking about where you want to work. I'm just asking a simple question. Who are you? Who are you? How do we know you? You say, my name is Noah. Cite your name. Who are you? What problem were you created to solve? What course were you anointed to study? It, it, see, if, if you do a career test, this will be easy answers for you. So I'll give you a link to the free. So if you want, if you want the link, I'm not gonna give the link just, just like that. Put a comment below and say, I need the link. Two comments, I need the link, comma, I need to know me. If you watch the video to this point, put that comment there, I need the link, then put comma and then write, I need to know me. And I'll drop the career test link for you so that you can go and know yourself. So that you can go and study you. Because the best way to make money in the future is to know who you are. And that way you can better know what problem you were created to solve. You can better know what course you were anointed to study. You can better know how to serve the world better with your gifts. So it's important that you know yourself. It's important that you know yourself. You are created to solve a problem. You were created to, to make impact in life. But you cannot make impact in this version of you that doesn't know himself or herself. The future will only respond to problem solvers. The future will only, only respond to people. The future will not respond to doctors or lawyers or no, no, no. In the future, technology will be what we're talking about. So it's not about who studied what. It's about what problem can you solve. If you're not solving problem for anybody in the future, you will be redundant. You'll be almost like you're useless. And the best way to solve problem for people is to know yourself, to know your gift, to know your, your, your talent, to know what course you were anointed to study, and also now to say to yourself, how do I solve a problem using this course, using this gift, using this talent? Every problem solver will not have a problem eating in the future. The future will only respond to problem solvers, not job seekers. So if you still have that mentality of, uh, I want to graduate and go and look for a job, you are not part of the people I'm talking about. Though. I'm talking about people, people that they will graduate and solve problems. They will graduate and, and solve problems in the power sector. 
graduate and solve problems in the in the energy energy sector graduate and solve problems in the education sector they will graduate and, and solve problems with their communication skill with their singing talent they will graduate and solve problems problem solvers are who we are talking about not job seekers so if anybody is even lucky to employ you eh it will be that you are a problem solver and they will be asking you how much can we pay so what is the way to become a problem solver? Number one, do a career test. Number two, keep adding value to yourself. Once you've known who you are, keep adding value to yourself, right? It's very, very important. And then what is number three? Put God first. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. We just bless your name. We exalt you, Lord, for um, all we've done. Lord, I just ask you bless this person. Even as they take the career test, Lord, let their, their, their minds and their hearts be open to know themselves. Jesus name we pray. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe only if the channel means something to you. Um, if I'm helping you get better, if what I say touches your heart and it resonates with you, please subscribe and also like this video, share the video so that other people will also know about this channel, right? We need to grow this channel and we're going to deal with you. God bless you. I'll see you on the next video.